today's video we are testing the t-mobile t-priority network slice i haven't really been able to put this to the you know to the test where it would have to use like anything like preemption or anything like that or you'd have like a priority uh activation of some sort but uh i did get access to this i want to shout out the homie carlos s tech for hooking it up sharing this with me and letting me try it out and there's a couple things i want to do i want to try you know the encrypted calling feature i want to try some of the priority stuff i want to see if maybe i can get you guys some additional testing and i got more videos to come but the you know 5g network slice capabilities for first responders the priority the faster speed reliability and the connectivity free of network congestion related issues all those kind of things uninterrupted access right and essential connectivity is a really cool feature, especially for public safety communications. Just think about the network resilience piece and all those things. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a baseline testing of the speeds that I experience here at the HQ. You'll see like 400 plus megabits, 500 megabits, pretty much the range. The fast.com is unthrottled, you know, so it, this just tells me that there's, uh, you know, a high priority network access. My T-Mobile Magenta business line sees very similar speeds, so I don't really necessarily learn anything new from this testing as compared to my business line. But I think what's going to end up happening is as I make more content and do more testing, I could potentially put it in some scenarios where we could see the network slice access is better than say like a consumer line or a prepaid line or an MVNO line or even just regular consumer postpaid. So I'm going to follow up with more videos. I'm going to do some more testing. We're going to check like, you know, the downloads, uh, we're going to check, you know, hotspot. You know, I'm sure a lot of first responders would use hotspot to a connected iPad or something. You know, so we'll we'll do all those things and we'll run it through the, the gauntlet of tests. And I'll try to figure out a way for me to put the the network congestion possibility uh, maybe at a high traffic area, high utilization area. We can test it and see what happens. But uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out some more of our content. And we'll see you guys soon on the next one.